I created a simple line of code, which I copied and pasted into this e-commerce website to make over $200,000 in one month. And it will guarantee reliable, long-term, consistent growth and consistent results in your business, whether you're starting out or whether you're established. This video is going to help you and it's going to show you exactly how you can take this line of code, add it to your website for less than $50, and you can see insane results. You can start increasing the amount of profit you're making, increasing the amount of revenue you're making, and massively decreasing the amount of costs so if you've ever been in the position where you're wondering how on earth do you start a business where do you even start you've got questions along the lines of you know who do i hire how do i build long-term wealth you're trying to quit your job and move into something that you can actually rely on well in this video you're going to learn three really key things firstly how as a beginner you can steal the secret one hundred thousand dollars a year blueprint for a sustainable sustainable scalable business i'm going to give you the exact framework million dollar brands are using to maximize profits and scale fast. I'm going to show you the exact one line of code that will allow you to scale faster than any of your competition. And this is key faster than your competition. When you're just getting started, you need to be scaling incredibly quickly. And one of the biggest thing that's going to hold you back is wondering about things like this. And I'm going to show you exactly how this line of code is going to solve that problem. And if you stay until the end of this video, you're even going to get free access to the exact automation framework that I use to scale this client store to $200,000 per month. So this is where I started. I actually saw some fairly okay success right at the beginning of my e-commerce career. And e-commerce was the business that I chose, but you don't need to choose e-commerce. This can work for any business as long as you have a website. And you can see here, I was getting some very good results, $10,000 in my first month. I started to move on to bigger numbers, $35,000 in one month, 13,000 visitors to my store. A lot of people were visiting my website, a lot of people was buying, but, this started to happen and maybe you've seen the same thing guys let me know down below in the comments if you've seen the same thing because it is insanely stressful when this happens because one minute you're starting your business with zero dollars you have no money to invest in this so you've bootstrapped everything you have put in hours grind to try and grow your business and suddenly you start to see some success maybe you're posting on tiktok and you've got a lot of traffic coming in and then bam you're making money you think you've made it you think this is it and then the highs are really high when you're starting i know what it's like guys but then the lows are really low and in fact this happened to me and i went deeply into the negative deeply into the red uh, and the reason this happened and i lost thousands because of setting up my business wrong. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how this line of code and exactly what it was that I did that took this from those poor, horrible numbers and those horrible days to actually seeing some success finally in business. And I ended up seeing things like this, you know, getting disputes in my business, hundreds and thousands of emails from angry customers, not getting their products on time, not understanding and not really dealing with customer service in any way at all. And I thought stupidly and naively that by ignoring all of these emails and all of these customers, the problem would go away. Until one day I received this horrible email, which some of you may have experienced before in the past, Stripe shut me down. That was it. My entire business had gone from making thousands of dollars every single month. Guys, I was making $35,000 a month to suddenly losing tens of thousands of dollars. I was $10,000 in the red. And the reason this happened was because of all these disputes. Every single one of these payments, $15 payments, that was disputed. If I lost that dispute, I would not only lose that $15, but I would also be charged a $15 fee as well. So while I was ignoring these things, ignoring customer problems, ignoring customer questions, the costs were absolutely skyrocketing. And I lost thousands. I had people working for me in the business, and I thought I had built it correctly. But what I'm going to show you now, guys, is what I did wrong and exactly what I want you guys to avoid as well, whether you've got an established business or you're scaling your business. Don't go out there and set up your business wrong because this is what I did. I built the pyramid the wrong way round. I wanna show you guys exactly what I mean. Straight away when you're starting your business, the first thing that you're thinking is, okay, how do I make sales? Where do I get traffic from? How do I get views? These are the sorts of things that you should not be focusing on when you're building your business because we're not building the correct way. What we're doing is we're focusing on the wrong thing at the wrong time. And the problem with today, and especially with TikTok marketing, which is probably what you've been focusing on, is it's incredibly viral, spiky growth. Imagine this as a growth of views against time. With TikTok, you don't know what's going to happen. You could post one video and see insane results and then nothing. Or you could post a thousand videos and see nothing and then suddenly a huge spike 
in results. And the problem is, when this happens, although you start to see a lot of money coming in, you as a business are not prepared. And the reason you're not prepared is because you've built a wobbly pyramid. You haven't built the foundations for a stable, scalable business. And this is exactly what happened and exactly what caused me to fail and lose thousands of dollars for my business. So if your business is currently set up like this and you're worried about how to make money by creating videos on TikTok and you're worried about how to get views, trust me and please pay attention to the rest of this video because this is exactly what's causing you to fail. Where what you should be focusing on is building the pyramid the right way around. Look at the difference, guys. We're going to focus on creating exactly what we need in our business, setting up the employees, setting up support, setting up payment information, setting up customer information that's going to help people understand your product to then scale to over $200,000 every single month. And guess what, guys? It's exactly the same process. We're going to be doing exactly the same that you're doing now with your marketing to see these results. The only difference that we're going to be doing is by spending about $50 setting all of this up, and it's going to take probably about half an hour to do. So I ended up finding a strategy that worked. I built a system that worked, and this system basically combined a lot of emails and conversations with customers. It involved multiple employees, a lot of time spent training up employees, a lot of time spent hiring employees. I found a solution that worked, but it was incredibly time-consuming and incredibly annoying. I'm going to share with you guys exactly what this is, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I turned this into a line of code that you can use in your business to see much better results than I ever saw with this. This is an entirely automated system now, and it allows you to just focus on the stuff that you're good at. And we're going to set all of this stuff up here. All of this boring stuff here is going to be set up with one line of code, guys. It's incredibly easy to do. So I added it to my website, and I started to see some insane results. And when I say I added it to my website, guys, I went out and I hired people for specific roles in my business. I needed someone to deal with customer support. And then I needed somebody to categorize what the problems were in my business, find out what was going wrong. And then I had someone who was analyzing that, going through it, updating spreadsheets and letting me know what things I needed to focus on. I would then go out and pay someone to build a help desk within my business. All of these things that I was building and structuring as I was building my business allowed me to see sustainable and consistent results. You can see here, right, $70,000 in revenue. It's not huge. But the most important thing that I want you guys to focus on is the line here. This is flat. And although, you know, you can actually use the same strategies to see an increase in your revenue, and I'll show you that in a minute, the most important thing here is we're not seeing this trend. We're not seeing highs and massive lows. And more importantly, we're remaining positive. We're always making money. And more importantly, we're always making profit. We're getting a huge returning customer rate. Show me guys in the comments down below. Have you seen a customer return rate higher than that? I'm not doing this to brag. I am genuinely curious. Have any of you seen a 64% return customer rate? And you can see sales over time were steady, consistent, great. I had lows of $5,000 days, highs of $10,000 days. There were no $0 days. There were no incredibly high days. Everything was increasing. Money was going up as time increased. Every single month... I knew I was going to make the same, if not more money, than I did the month before. And remember, compare that graph to what we saw before. In month one, we saw nothing. In month two, we saw everything. And then in month three, we saw negative income. Look what happened just by rebuilding that pyramid. It is insane. So I ended up setting up an automation to use ChatGPT to build this. And this may seem a little bit confusing, so let me go through this for you. Essentially, the problem that I was having in my business were people were coming through and they were disputing payments. And I had an employee, a virtual assistant that was going in to my emails, responding to customers, helping them deal with their concerns. If people had things about how can I track my order or, you know, uh, can I get a refund or can I use this product whatever or can i wash the product in the dishwasher customer questions like that and they were building up a lot of them were ramping up and building up and the biggest problem that caused me to fail in my previous business was i had every single one of those emails going into one inbox and i had no way of filtering out the stuff that was important and the stuff that wasn't important my employees were basically spending about three hours per day responding to customers that didn't have important questions. And the customers that had very important questions were being ignored, and those are the ones that you need to be focusing on. The ones that want refunds, the ones that haven't got their order, the ones that have big problems are the ones that are going to ruin your business. So I built an automation that would allow me to focus this. This is the automation here, right? This is the thing that allows me to build the business the correct way up. And guys, please, I cannot stress this enough. The problem is not the video views. The problem is how you've built your business. If you build it the right way, 
Just plug views in and that is what you're going to get. That's all you're going to need to focus on. You're not going to have any of these problems. So what happened? Well, I built an automation, which basically helps me use AI to answer customer questions. And I know you probably heard AI and you got scared. What if the AI comes up with random responses or how do I trust the AI or how does the AI know what it's thinking? Can I add it to the website? All of these questions, guys, I'm going to answer. Just give me a second. But here we go. Basically, what I did is all of the training information that I used to train up those employees in my business, I gave it to the AI. I gave my website to the AI. Suddenly, the AI had access to over 153,000 words, and it was able to understand everything about my business. It could read every single product page in my business. This is what it looks like, guys. If I go to the data feed, this website here, we've got all of the products from every single page in the website. The chatbot or the AI knows everything about the website. Awesome. Right. Then what happens is customers come to the question, come to the website and they've got questions. They've got simple requests and they've got complex issues. Now, when I first started out, I just focused on these simple requests. All I wanted to do was reduce the amount of emails that I was getting. Remember, I was getting about 10 to 100 emails every single day and there was no way for me to prioritize these emails and those high priority emails were being ignored and left for multiple days on end and that is what was causing disputes and causing my business to die. So I thought, well, those simple requests, 80% of those problems, if we can clear those out with a chatbot, that means the high priority stuff will just be sent to my inbox and then I can focus on that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. People will still email you. They will still ask you questions through email. So I thought, right, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to build a chatbot that can also deal with complex issues. So somebody comes in and they ask a question and they're asking, for example, how can I track my order? Well, if you've got a tracking link on your website, the AI can give that to them. But maybe then they have a problem with their order and they're saying, look, my order's never arrived. I ordered it six months ago. Where is it? That is what we call a complex issue. And now the AI, ChatGPT, and my automation would go ahead prioritize that it would create a support ticket it would give it a priority from low to medium to high it would then alert me based on custom notifications i've set up it could then hand that conversation off to a human but remember guys this is the first business you're building you cannot go out and afford to pay somebody you know two hundred dollars every couple of days to sit there 24 7 on chat support you can't afford to be sitting there hiring people interviewing people training people to build 24 7 support so i wanted to build something that would allow me to basically have 24 7 support by using ai to deal with the conversations and then essentially triage these problems off to human handoff and prioritize those problems and then what would happen is i would go out deal with those problems write out an email respond to them and now I was actually able to deal with a lot of these problems. But I thought, well, I've got an AI that understands my business. Why not, at the same time as handing it off to a human, get it to draft out an email? And what it was doing then was drafting out a response to that customer's question. So if a customer has a complex problem, and this is a complex problem that could ruin our business, this complex problem has now been sent to me, notified me any time of the day, the AI has drafted a response that it thinks is going to work to deal with this customer's problem. If they've asked for a refund, it will ask for the customer's order number. Then all I do is go in and then I check if the email is correct. If it's correct, I'll tell the AI to send out that email. So now what's gone on here is I've built an automation which allows me to just have one step here. This is the only place that I am ever touching this automation. The rest of all this stuff is done by AI. And before, guys, in the past, this would be roughly two to three employees in my business I would be using to run this. So now what happened was I could very, very quickly build businesses very, very quickly and very, very cheaply. I could have an entire support structure set up for my business. So all of this stuff here, email support, hiring employees, training employees, all of this stuff, I had now set up an automation. So now, I all, all I needed to focus on was getting views for my business. That is it. I no longer needed to focus on any of this stuff here. It was basically a plug and play system that I could add to my website. And then all of this was done. I would then need to focus on creating videos and then start making money. And that, guys, is a single line of code that I mentioned at the beginning that I want to show you guys. And then as time went on, I started to add extra features. I thought, well, I've got this chatbot on my website. Why not start to collect leads? So that's what I did. I added this little box here. So now any time somebody's having a conversation with the chatbot, I can gather their lead information. And what does this mean? Well, it means I can now retarget all of these conversations. I can actually message and email these people individually, giving them offers, discount codes, getting them to come back, adding them to a welcome series. And the amount of money that email marketing will make your business is insane. And this is one of the biggest things that led to me to see that exponential growth and move from those 10K per month 
let me just do that again, from those 10K per month all the way up to the 200K per month. Now what you're doing is you're building your own audience for your own business. So all that money you're spending on marketing, you're now gathering those leads and you can download those leads, upload them into your favorite CRM. Then I added product recommendations. I thought, well, you know, the industry standard is 1% conversion rate on a website. What if I could get an AI that can understand all of my products? Well, it's already got the information for my product pages. And guys, if this is confusing, I'll show you exactly how to do this in a minute. But all of these product pages here, the AI understands what they are. So I said, right, well, recommend me a product for dry skin. Here we go. It's giving me the link to that product. It's giving me some information about that product. And it's asked for my email. So now anybody who visits my website is able to get exact product recommendations for their specific problem. I built custom memory for the chatbot. So now if anybody's got a problem and they ask a question, and I'm not happy with the response from the AI, I can go in and manually edit that response, and that way I know 100% of the time the AI is responding consistently with the correct answer. And then I added in human handoff and triaging. And this, if you guys are confused, is allowing customers to send in high priority support tickets if they've got a complex issue. So the chatbot will identify if it's a simple or a complex request. If it's a complex issue, now the AI will ask them to submit a support ticket and the software will manage the rest of it. So I built all of this into a simple software and it worked even better than before. This is exactly how I saw these results on my store. The amount of orders that I was getting was insane. The amount of revenue that my business was generating was insane. But even better, the amount of profit that I was generating was insane. I had built a support solution that was correctly built. I had built a business in the way that was going to allow my business to scale. And it was a plug and play system that would only cost me anywhere between $30 and $100 every single month. Beforehand, at this scale, I would need anywhere between three to five employees working at roughly anywhere between one thousand to three thousand dollars every single month in cost and now i'd built an ai automation that could do all of this for me for less than thirty dollars or fifty dollars per month awesome guys so this sounds complicated but don't worry i have actually created a software for you that will do this this has been years in the making the amount of data that i've gathered the amount of time that i spent just perfecting this software and i launched it and now we've got over twelve thousand people using this software guys and i'm going to give this to you for free in just a minute so what happens well, you're going to get access to a software that allows you to train an AI on your website. You can see here, this is what the software looks like. You can see these are all the links from my website. The AI understands 55,000 words about this website. It understands the refund policies, tracking links, everything. It understands contact details and contact information. I can brand it and embed it to my website. And it can understand everything about my business. It can deal with support 24 seven, giving instant AI replies. And guys, I mentioned this earlier, but this is a big one, custom AI memory, no hallucination. This means that every single time the chatbot responds, it's gonna respond the same way consistently all of the time. And you know that it's not gonna be inventing things. Human handoff, this is huge. One of the biggest problems with the chatbot support solution is if it goes wrong and somebody's got a question that the AI can't deal with, there is nothing that you can do. Well, with the solution and the line of code that I'm going to give you guys at the end of this video, you can actually deal with human handoff straight away. And it's got built-in support ticketing and prioritization. This is what the software looks like, guys. Here we have got the chatbot playground. In the chatbot playground, we're able to customize the branding, talk to the chatbot, train it up, adjust chatbot memory. We can actually add and remove data if we update information on our website we can actually just update data that we add to our chatbot it's as simple as pasting in the url from your website and scraping your website you can upload pdf files you can actually just upload specific bits of text whatever you want you can give context to your chatbot it can collect leads all of those leads go into a specific platform here we can download those leads we can integrate it soon with our favorite crm we can actually then automatically gather support tickets. If a conversation is not going the way that we like, or if an AI can't deal with that conversation, it will ask the customer to hand off to support ticketing. The customer will fill out those support tickets. It will give you the information. The chatbot will then prioritize that support ticket, categorize that support ticket. It will then draft a response to that support ticket. All we need to do is log in. If we approve of it, we can send it. This, actual, this software will also integrate with SendGrid. So as long as our customer support email is set up via SendGrid, all we need to do is click one button and that support ticket has been dealt with. 
We can also see all the conversations that people are having with our chatbots. Then we can see what problems are on our business, what things are stopping people from converting, what information do we need to add to our business, what's going wrong. We can have an overview of the biggest problems in our business. Are they problems with orders? Is it tracking? Is it refunds? What is causing our business to fail? We can increase conversion rates and we can make more money from using this piece of software. I did all of this, and remember guys, you can get this for free, and I did all of this, and it got me over $200,000 in revenue for my business. So guys, if you want to get access to this, all I ask is you go ahead, click the top link down below in the description. It will take you to this website. You can watch this video. It's going to tell you everything that you need to know. Any questions that you've got, it will answer those questions. Go ahead and click this button here and you can start a trial for this software for free for seven days. Seven days, you can build your chatbot. This is what it's going to look like. Go ahead, create your account, put in your information, uh, ignore all of this. I've removed all of this. You don't need to worry about any of this. Put in your card details. This is the checkout form. And if you guys have got any questions, leave them down below in the comments. But it's a very simple checkout form. It's not going to charge your card anything. You have seven days to use it for free. This is saying six here, but it's actually seven days you're going to have to use for free. And then after that, you will be able to build your own chatbot, customize it, brand it, scrape all the data from your website, start gathering support tickets, gathering leads. And guys, it's incredibly easy to do. The only thing that you need to do is come into here and paste in your URL and the rest is done for you. You don't need to worry about anything. Then once you're done, come to launch. And this guys is the single line of code that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Copy this, go to your website, head to the custom code section of your website, or if you're on Shopify, all you need to do is come to the online store section, click on these three dots here, edit code, head to the theme.liquid and you can paste in that code there. This is one line of code that you can add to your business and it's going to cost you $30 a month. That is it. This is all the stuff that you're going to get access to. And more importantly, you can get access to this for free for seven days. And if you don't like it, you can cancel your trial. You're not going to be charged. And more importantly, guys, when you log into the software, you'll notice here we are using ChatIQ for our own support ticketing solution. So if you've got any questions about how to use it, you can ask the chatbot. If you can't get results or if there's any problems you have, you can always submit a support ticket. If you've got a bug or a feature request or a problem with billing or your account information go ahead and let me know we have it set up in our business and we have support ticketing notifications set up so we are notified of low medium and high priority tickets any problem that you have i will be there 24 7 to deal with the problem and i will always make sure that you get the best service possible and that is my guarantee so guys if you want to see these results in your business if you want to learn how to scale your business you want to build a long-term consistent business you need to make sure that you build the pyramid the right way around you need to make sure that you're adding in the correct solutions the correct systems and processes in your business before you start marketing and i have done the hard work for you copy this into your website and then all you need to do is post some videos and start making money it is really that easy guys the link is down below in the description go ahead visit the website start your seven day free trial